I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to MNW Miles Middle School Morning News for February 5, 2016. Our broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the second floor of the middle school. If you wish to participate in one of these broadcasts, please talk to your teacher about what you'll need to do to participate. Funds raiser super per power bowl. Please bring in cans to support the Ronald McDonald House. The homeroom will the most cans will get to play the girls volleyball team along with the whole grade during school next week. Library news, yearbook meeting on Monday after school in the library. Order flowers for your Valentine costs $1 and includes a card. See Mrs. Cicero in the library for details. Overdue notices for the library books will be going out. Please return your overdue library books today. Order your yearbook deadline is for the cost of $20. See Mrs. Cicero for the details in the library. Make your space Monday a Valentine card for someone special during your lunch. Sign up for it today, Friday in the library during your lunch period. Limited space available. Today is a red day. Have a really great day. Mr. Katsagiorgis pushing Mr. Newman on a tiny purple scooter. If this sounds something like you want to see, buy a ticket. Battle of the Classes. February 25th, 7 o'clock, right after Title I Parents Night in the big gym. Tickets are on sale now. After school today, come and see me in the lobby. Three bucks. That's it. See ya. Good morning. My name is Devontae Rickenbacker, and I'm reporting to you from the vocabulary corner. The weekend word is foremost. Foremost is an adjective that helps describe a person, place, idea, or thing. The definition of foremost is chief, most important. Synonyms are leading, principal, and paramount. Antonyms are last and secondary. The sentence is the foremost goal within a basketball game is to score as many baskets as possible. Have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Martin here, and I'm very happy to give you this week's Warrior Shoutouts. Mr. Jackson would like to give a shout-out to Grace Morton and to India Hunter for their record-setting 4x200 relay in the county championships. Great job, guys. He would also like to give a shout-out to India Hunter, once again, who was all-league in the 55-meter dash. Um, Mr. Jackson still, another shout-out from him to Jashawn Nottingham for returning uh, a phone and also to Malcolm Fenner for stepping it up on his essay and in algebra class. Great job. Um, Dr. Solari would like to give a shout out to Renee Rivera for helping to straighten desks every day. Um, Ms. Harpole would like to give a shout out to Noah LaForest and Alex Diaz for their hard work in math and always being respectful and polite. Ms. Ferrante would like to give a shout out to Nia Scott who represented Amityville in the Long Island Strength Festival. Um, Mr. Martin and Mr. Buckley would like to give a shout out to the following students for always showing good effort and being respectful in social studies. Carlos Hernandez, Danasia Gomes, Miguel Ortiz Sanchez, Vanessa Garcia, Myla Griffin, Shair Fowler, Alani McCaddy, Shakira Nazim Harris, Nayeli Umanzor, Gabrielle McGinnis and Justin Mullings. Keep up the good work, guys. And finally, Mr. Newman would like to give shout outs to the following students for improvement in math. Crystal Fells, Nicole Mendez, Linda Mendoza Perez, Tiana Mills, Kahim Stevenson, Serena Valmont, Naomi Henry, Anastasia Land Wilson, Jada O'Connor, Destiny Robinson, Anna Saravia, Omar Shand, Maya Daniel and Imani Jones. And also Mr. Newman would like to give a shout out to Zebulon Moody for helping to clean the classroom. Remember guys, character is contagious. Next week we'll have Warriors of the Month. We're still working on that. 
from last month. And remember, keep up the good work. February 7, 1964, Beatles arrived in the United States. One of the most influential popular music groups of modern times, the Beatles initially affected the culture of Britain and the US, and then much of the world. They even semi-willingly became spokesmen of their time. The group consisted of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Richard Starkley. Beatlemania exploded in the United States after the group appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964. February 6th, 1996, a 100 billionth Crayola produced. Crayola crayons were invented by Edwin Binney and Harold Smith in New York City in the late 1800s. Over the years, Crayola has added more colors including fluorescent ones and in 1994 even added scented ones. So the students could not only draw pictures but smell them too. At this point, Crayola makes 12 million crayons a day or about 4 billion crayons a year. Your parents tell you, don't start something that you can't finish. Finish it. The, th the Freedom Writers. In 1961, segregation seems to have an overwhelming grip on American society. The Freedom Writers set out to challenge the status quo by writing various forms of the public transportation in the South to challenge local laws or customs that enforce segregations. Hello, I am Ernest Monson. This is the weekend weather. Friday, partly sunny and colder, high 40, of 43. Saturday, partly sunny, high of 44. Sunday, partly sunny, high of 45. Have a great weekend. If you wish to have a birthday announced in this segment, fill out a sheet on Mr. Weber's door, room 207, and hand it to him on Wednesday morning. Our birthdays this week are Joshua Brown, Jaheem Shan, Jahad Jones, Erica Fernandez Lopez, Gerard Masqui, Stacey Rubio, Na Neil Patel, Maya Daniel, Shelby M Merriweather, Jyla Hall, and Godfrey Pons. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday!